As a strategy consultant, Ekta Cullen was focused on defining long-term goals and developing a way of achieving them. She achieved considerable success in this field, but didn't find much contentment. Then she made a radical shift in her personal strategy, rediscovering the delights of her childhood while also finding her personal niche. It's a real-life Santosha and Ekta told us how she has attained it. When a brand new collection is brought to the round for the first time, the busy scene backstage doesn't offer any insight into the creative process. And it's as if the garments have arrived on the models by magic. This doesn't do a designer like Ekta Kalan any justice. So we are here to guide us along the path she follows in realizing her vision. People always ask, where do I normally get inspiration for my collection? Inspiration comes from many things. It's either traveling, the different experiences, or what mood I am at the moment during that period of time. Today, I'm going to take you through the design process, from inspiration to final product. And I'm so excited to show it to you. So for this new collection, my inspiration came from a recent trip to Portugal and Spain where I was completely blown away by the intricate tiles and mosaic patterns. The architecture drew me to the collection, especially in Lisbon and the south of Spain and Seville, where I purchased a book just purely on different patterned tiles. I also drew inspiration from the real Alcazar of Seville. It's this beautiful Moorish architecture in green gardens. And this all combined to form a fusion of nature with architecture. The sketches seem to flow spontaneously from Ekta's pens. And it's interesting that pencil, ink and paper are still her preferred media when mapping out her ideas. Once I've drawn inspiration, I take my images and place them together, creating a mood board. The colors, the styles, even people, to give an idea of what the story needs to create. Once I'm happy with my collection as well as prints, we now then take this and move on to CAD. CAD stands for Computer Aided Design, and while it cannot be a substitute for the designer's imagination and judgment, it does make the process of creating motifs for prints and selecting palettes so much faster. Precise hues can be generated and then matched with the available fabrics. The completed designs then move on to the printers and dressmakers, who turn 2D images into a three-dimensional reality. Here's the exciting part where I get to show you garments made from greens, pinks, as well as the prints that we spoke about. So here's a velvet top where we've mixed prints with solids and texture of fabric as well, with the green colored on the outside, so inner satin lining. One of my favorites of layered fabrics, giving different textures and forms as also complements the shape and silhouette with the free flow of fabric movement. Here's another dress with the embroidery which we saw from hand-drawn to digital CAD and now finally on a dress. I think this will go well with this waistcoat. Many individuals, they're a bit scared to play with color. My advice is start with solid basics. So keep a standard black pants, black dress, shoes, and then slowly build on it. Wear a colorful bright top with that pants. Once you slowly start to experiment with it, you'll start to realize what you like and what you feel comfortable with. Ekta's name is derived from the Sanskrit word for unity and her label builds on the idea of bringing people together through a shared love of heritage crafts interpreted with a contemporary context.
titled Spiritual Warrior, Ekta's latest collection is intended as a celebration of cultural diversity expressed via Indian embroidery, draping and layering combined with an African eye for line and vivid colour. Ekta sees her ideal wearer as someone who is self-confident, feminine and guided by her spirit, which is a pretty accurate description of the designer herself. Comfort and happiness are core values of Ekta's brand and they're also reflected in her view of life. She's found true contentment in being exactly who she is and on that note of authenticity, we'll take a quick break. At the movies this week, the tiger is back on the prowl with Salman and Katrina.